Okay, first of all, Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Day, and I am fighting with the old Chevy again over here. The problem was, you know, the seatbelt bolts probably in every single car. They just give you a pain in the ass because it torques and they suck and they go to the floorboard. And they rust. There it is right there. I finally got this thing to move. After I was about to give up, I used a half gas torch. This crap PB blaster. This big bar. And actually, I gave up using the Torx. I used a pipe wrench. I put a pipe wrench on here first, kind of like so. I don't want to move my vice grips. They're probably in a good spot. I put my first, wait, actually I heated it up. The carpet started smoking. You got to uh, soak your carpet down. I used a damp rag. Damp rag is right there. And I just drenched the shit out of the carpet so it wouldn't go on fire. And still warm but I had no smoke coming through here anyway did that put a pipe wrench on it I actually know when the carpet heated up I think I melted some of the shit underneath there so I was able to wedge this whole seatbelt lower so then put my pipe wrench right here put a long bar sticking out and tighten it two turns okay got it free now I'm backing off my vice grips going the other way you see things moving freaking awesome Anyway, let me get this thing out. It's been about probably three or four, maybe five years since I started working on that thing. It's finally loose. It's the worst bolt in the whole truck. That side comes out like butter. Oh well. I put my speakers in now. Very happy. Oh, another thing is uh, proper size so those Torx things are T47. And definitely get yourself a new bolt. I have two new bolts for this thing. That bolt is so mangled that I gotta use vice grips. To get it out. It's still turning. That's a T50 over there. But what I think I'm gonna do is throw my little mini toolbox so I'll look socket organizers. They're really cool. Ah oh, man. I forget what my own stuff is my own toolbox. That's how much I work on cars these days. But yeah, these little ones. So I'm using the big mama snap on ones. Those ones hurt your hands too. But yeah. I'm gonna get it out today. Freaking awesome. Didn't light the truck on fire. Okay, minutes later, we're still going at this thing. Another thing I'd like to mention when you're done, uh, wire wheel the hell out of that thing, paint it up real well because it's going to rust. You should burn all the paint off. But I can't even get a T47 or a T50 on this thing. I'm still vice gripping. Want to watch? I have no idea. Can I get it by hand yet? Probably not. can't get it by hand. See that? Okay, success, like Borat would say. And look how chewed up those ends are with ice grip in it. Wow, I broke a socket in this thing years ago. And that's a little crappy hole it comes out of. Wow, surprised it's able to do that. I'm gonna peel this up, see if there's any rust on it there. Probably is. Oh well, uh, let me get the sill plate. That screw ain't looking too hot. Great. Hey, guess what? That screw's rusted too, but I got a trick for these. Sill plates. So stick to the floor, just vice grip it from the bottom. So, that's all I'm gonna do. Those two, I did, and all the three on that side I did a couple months ago. And then coat the shit out of them if I see and they won't rust up again. Let me do that. Okay, the deal is you get underneath the other vice grip. See it turning? Just gonna break that loose. And then you can do it with your screwdriver. Pop my vice grips off. Fall on the floor. Look. Put the wheel back out. Just gotta go real slow. Probably put one of my nice Florida screws in. Other than they're stored already. Oh yeah, stripped out. It's good I got enough high enough. Using our vice grips. I think there's a mosquito in here too. Yeah, there goes right there. And that guy is biting the crap out of me. Great. Mosquitoes in December. Oh, this place is a hole. Look at that clean floor pan, right? I can get this jackbox out. Look at all the dirt in there. Yeah. 
freaking uh, 20 years of shit. Or uh, you should just wipe this shit down, reassemble it, find my new bolt, and do this another day. At least I know that's. Uh, I got a hole in my floor, at least I know that. That's freaking awesome. I really can't believe I got that thing out. I was thinking it was going to be a lot worse than that. If you go around this way in the regular cab truck, you're going to be screwed. Unless you take the bench seat out. See? The bench seat. But, uh, yeah. It was good that I was able to swing this thing around. Sometimes you can't, but this time I did, so I can get through it this way, which you have more leverage to work on it. But yeah, those are your seat bolts. Those shouldn't be too hard. You don't look that rusted through the floor. Check it out. This is freaking mosquito again, man. Ouch, this is gonna hurt my hand. See, you try to kill mosquitoes and you want to hurt your hand. Funny story, I was driving a car one time. It wasn't my car. There were probably like 30 mosquitoes in there, and uh, I literally almost like broke the windshield on and I hit the windshield so hard. <laughs> that would have been uh, fun to explain. But anyway, my bolts might be in this box, so I'm going to go look for them. And uh, that's the end of my video. Hope this helps someone to uh, get those bolts out. They're a pain in the ass. Anyway, I told you I had brand new seat bolts. And there they are right there, and I got a mosquito attacking me again, so um, I'm done here. Look how nice those bolts are. Awesome. Okay, this. Look to that. Wow. Oh, finally. I said that before, but I'm using anti-seize on these bolts. I don't care. The factory is Loctite. I'm not using it because they're going to be in there enough. Then I come and loose. Look at all those threads that have to pull through. And the proper size this is this mosquito again. Is a uh, T47. This freaking bastard. Trying to get this guy. I'm out of here. Until we find someone else to get. Keep saying this is my last video, but it's not. And, uh, keep corner rust. Look at that. But, uh, I'm using a pipe wrench. Stuff it up in there. Soak a little PB blaster on it. And I'm trying to uh, break up any rust in those threads. And I think it's good now. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of rust on there. So till then we got cab corner rust. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, last video, right? Anyway, if you think those uh damn T forty seven seat belts are bad, try the uh the jack little spare tire or whatever. Whatever jack what spare tire they got. This little cap panel in the back pull down bolt look at this thing it's long it's skinny it's rusted very rusted same deal have to heat it and uh has a little like uh what is it the inverted uh torques on it that's stripped off so i just stacked uh, two nuts on it to back it off now i gotta use my impact gun take the top one off and uh hopefully i can reuse this i don't really want to i'd like to get a new one but they're probably all rusted. Look at that hole. No rust. But yeah, now we can get this freaking panel off over here and start getting these speakers out. What a pain in the ass. That's for two speakers. Jesus. Now I have better access to my bolts too. I don't have that with that stupid, that stupid thing in the way. Surprised they didn't go on fire. It's only plastic. Look, no meltage. I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this. It's freaking awesome. Gotta clean all this nastiness out. Well, so that's the deal. You're gonna have to heat your seatbelt bolts on this thing. I don't know what else will need heating on this truck. It's rusted, that's for sure.